Okay, okay, okay. You don't have to rate your footage if you have, let's say, a photographic memory. But let's be honest. Do you? No, seriously. Do you? And here is why rating your footage comes in handy. And how to do that? Well, this is actually really, really, really simple. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It might look like a process that it's taking a little bit of your time when you're still setting up your editing environment at the very, very beginning. But honestly, it's a great way to make your editing much more enjoyable when it comes to the actual creative process of it. I actually find rating my footage really really important because this way I'm able to focus on the creative side of editing when I start cutting my video. And now the most important bit, let me show you how to actually rate your footage. But before we do that, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this type of videos because much more of those are coming. And let's dive in. Here we are in Final Cut Pro. As you can see, I have a lot of material imported already in my library. And now I've selected this event right here, Canon G7X Mark II. It's the material that I've got from this specific camera. And here is my footage. So the first thing to do when you are rating your footage is to activate the skimming. The way to do that is by hitting S on your keyboard. And what that does is that it basically allows you to skim through your footage very, very quickly and check if you really like the clip that you are watching. Well, this specific one, I actually think that it's not a good one. So I want to reject it because it's not a good shot. The way to do that is by clicking on the mark menu on the top of your screen. And there you can see these options, favorite, reject, and unrate. And these three options come also with a shortcut, which makes them even more accessible. I personally recommend that you learn the shortcuts because shortcuts actually make your editing and your workflow much faster and much more convenient. So you can mark something as a favorite by hitting F, you can reject something by hitting delete, and you can unrate your footage by clicking U. So let's do this. So as I said, this specific clip, I want to mark it as a reject. As you can see, I immediately get a red line on top of my clip, which indicates that my clip is being rejected. Then let's go to the clip underneath and let's start scheming again. And I think that this specific one is a better take, even though I don't really like the ending too much as the camera drifts away. But other than that, I think that most of it, it's a good take. So I want to mark it as a favorite and I'm hitting F on my keyboard and I immediately get this green line on top of my clip, which means that this clip is marked as favorite. Now, if you change your mind and you say that, oh yeah, you know, uh, this clip in the end, it's not that good. I want to change my rating. You can unrate your footage by clicking U and you see that immediately the green line disappears. Now let me mention something about the blue line that might confuse you a little bit. It doesn't have to do with the rating. The blue line indicates that basically a keyword is assigned to this specific clip that you are watching. More about the keywords. Well, I've done a video about that. I'm gonna link it up here for you to watch if you want. Now moving on, you can click on this drop down menu right here and you see all these options that you have. You can choose to see all of your clips, which is what I've chosen right now. And I'm pretty sure it's the default option that Final Cut gives you. Then you have the options that says hide rejected. If you click on this one, you can see that the clip that we rejected disappeared. Just to clarify, this doesn't mean that this clip is now deleted. It basically means that you cannot see it on your browser so that your footage and your material is more neat and less cluttered, if that makes sense. Another option is that you can see only the clips that you've rated as favorites. So if I click that, you see that I can only see clips that I have marked as favorites. The other option is to see only the rejected clips so the one that I rejected before. And you might wonder, well, why is this useful? Why do I want to see my rejected clips? It means that they are not good. Then why? But the truth is that sometimes you're almost finishing your editing and you're just missing like a couple of shots and you're like, oh, I need some extra material. So a good idea might be to go back to the clips that you've initially rejected and try and find out something from there.
Keep that in mind. And the last option, which I personally find really useful, is the unused. If you click on it, you can see on your browser material that you haven't used yet on your timeline. So this is the basic concept around rating your footage, but you can also be much more specific because, let's face it, you might have a very long shot and there are parts of this shot that are very nice and you want to use, but there are also parts in this same shot that they are really really bad and you want to get rid of. So let me show you how to do that. So let's take for example this specific shot and always always skim through your footage and let's figure out. I think that I like some bits of it but well most of it I'm not really fan of. So I think that I like the part with the fly and the flower and I want to mark this as my favorite. So I'm gonna hit I on my keyboard and this way my yellow range markers appear and I put an in point and up to here. I like the shot. So hitting O, you set your out point and this selection is the bit you like. Now by hitting F, you mark this selection as a favorite, but the rest of it, so let's say from here, hitting I again on my keyboard to actually, well, I might like this last bit with the berries. I'm hitting O and I want to reject this specific range. I hit delete on my keyboard and it's marked as rejected. And the last bit again, you know what, I like it. I'm gonna hit another I to set another in point until the end, till here, I'm gonna hit O. I have my selection and F to mark it as favorite. This is it at the beginning. Um, I'm not really fan of this part. I'm gonna mark it as a uh, reject. And this way you see that inside the same clip, I actually have selections that they are marked as favorite and other selections that they are marked as rejected. And the important thing is by using the same menu that I showed you before, you can choose to see only the favorites or only the rejected parts of a specific clip. So if I choose favorites, I only see the bit that I chose as favorite. And if I hit rejected, I can see only the parts of the specific clip that I marked as rejected. Now let me remind you again that you can also uh, unrate your footage. So for example, if you're not happy with the way you rated this specific area of your clip, you can always change by hitting F and marking it as a favorite, or you can hit U to completely unrate your footage. Oh, and by the way, something really quickly, if you ever want to get rid of these yellow range markers on a clip, you just need to hit option X and they immediately disappear. So this is it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something new today. I hope that you're going to use the rating tools in Final Cut Pro from now on and Trust me, it's gonna make your editing much faster and much more enjoyable. Mainly if you're working with long takes and uh, you know, it can be interviews, it can be weddings, it can be stuff like that. This feature is going to help you a lot. So give it a go and let me know how you find it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you liked the video and if you like that kind of videos because more are on the way. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up as well and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and happy editing!